One simple and definitive proof that you are not living on a spinning ball orbiting around the sun is the fact that daytime and nighttime never switch places as they must for the heliocentric model to be true. According to the globe doctrine, Earth makes one complete rotation on its axis every 24 hours, while simultaneously orbiting around the sun and completing one full revolution every 365 days. If this was truly happening, however, as you can see from the following image, the daytime and nighttime sides of the globe would have to flip every six months. For a more detailed illustration of this, imagine the sun rising at 6 a.m. in New York on the summer solstice. After three months of 24-hour rotations, the globe would be 90 degrees from its previous position and a quarter turn away from the sun, meaning that sunrise in New York during the autumnal equinox should now be happening at midnight. After three more months of 24-hour rotations, the globe would be on the complete opposite side of the sun, 180 degrees from its starting position, so that sunrise in New York during the winter solstice should be happening at 6 p.m., or in other words, daytime and nighttime would have completely flipped from six months earlier. After three more months of 24-hour rotations, the globe would be 270 degrees from its original position, and sunrise in New York during the spring equinox should be happening at noon. In reality, as you can test and observe for yourself, this simply does not happen, and remains yet another nail in the globe's coffin. Globe apologist naysayers make either one of two ridiculous claims in an attempt to excuse away this clear problem in their model. Their first defense is to claim that days are not actually 24 hours long, but instead only 23 hours and 56 minutes long, and this four minute difference per day fixes the math, allowing day and night to flip. Now it is true that there are two kinds of days, known as solar days and sidereal days, and sidereal days are in fact 23 hours 56 minutes long, but solar days, which everyone on Earth sets their clocks by, are exactly 24 hours in duration. Sidereal days, which nobody sets their clocks by, are actually how long the fixed stars take to make one revolution over and around our Earth plane. As you can observe and measure for yourself, the constellations rotate just slightly faster than the Sun, so that they take exactly 23 hours and 56 minutes to come back to their starting point, while the Sun takes exactly 24 hours, 4 minutes longer, to come back to its starting point. Firstly, the fact that sidereal and solar days both exist and are not exactly the same duration is yet another proof that the stars and sun are moving, and not the Earth. If the apparent movement of the stars and sun was actually the result of us living on a spinning globe, as we're told, then there would and could only be one duration of day, namely, the amount of time it takes to complete one full rotation. The fact that there are two different durations of rotation time for the sun and stars just further proves that they are moving at their own unique speeds over and around a motionless, fixed Earth. Secondly, if globe apologists want to claim solar days are now suddenly only 23 hours and 56 minutes, then why hasn't anyone in history ever noticed that our 24-hour clocks, which billions of people have used for thousands of years, actually fall behind reality four minutes every single day? The reason is because it doesn't happen, and trying to claim solar days are the same duration as sidereal days just shows the disingenuous lengths these zealots will go to to cling on to their false cosmology. Their next defense, even more ridiculous than the first, is to claim that the Earth actually must complete 361 degrees of rotation per day, and that that somehow makes up for it. They completely redefine what a day means, and claim, instead of a day being one full 24-hour rotation of the globe, as we have always been taught, a day now suddenly means the amount of rotation until the sun reaches the same point in the sky, which they say is approximately 361 degrees. With this excuse, however, new problems arise, because the globe's supposed orbit around the sun is actually elliptical, so depending where and when during its revolution around the sun, the Earth's rotation on its axis would have to be both speeding up and slowing down at different times of the year just to maintain their new definition of what a day means. But of course, in their own model, the Earth's alleged rotation never speeds up or slows down, 
and remains constant always. They cannot have it both ways. But like the kid who wants to have his cake and eat it too, these leaps of logic pose no problem for the willfully ignorant. For the fearlessly inquisitive critical thinkers out there, if you still believe you live on a big blue marble spinning faster than the speed of sound, please find some time to watch our new feature documentary, link in the description box, Level.